welcome back to the BSN channel. Do you see that? Yeah, I know you see it. This is a rib cage of goat. So, you know what that means. We're making a punchy cry cry. That's goat light soup, for those who don't know. It's a nice pepper soup. Some people call it Apateshi's friend. Because whilst they're having schnapps, this is a nice soup to sip. And chew your meat. Not eat, chew your meat. Okay, so what we're doing first is we've... This rib cage has been chopped into cubes. First, it's been washed. Or, you know, you don't have to wash it. You have to, what do you mean? <laughs> no, some people just, you know, use the heat to kill everything. No. But yeah, yeah, don't listen to me. Wash it. My mom has just added uh, a couple of cubes, uh, Maggie cubes, which is the seasoning. Or stock, what you want to call it. Going to build. Or if you want to be more healthy, just use salt. No oh. talk. So we've got the rib cage um, cut into cubes. And the first step, as we always do, is we're going to make the base. Okay, this is part of the base. But the other half of the base is going to be the ginger, garlic, chili, and tomato mix that's going to be blended and then added to this with additional water. And then they're, go they're going to study together and then graduate into a nice aponchi cra cra with fufu. Yes. So we're going to let this heat up for a while. As you can see, the fire's on. I'll let this uh, heat up. Let the juices run. I'll put this one in. Then there's... Uh, That's jenny and moko. And then I'll cover it. Onion and chili. And then cover it. Okay, so we're going to come back here yeah, when the onion, the chili, which is the scotch bonnet peppers, uh, what else? The garlic, the ginger, and the tomato has been blended. Uh, usually, you just need one tin tomato, right? Mm -hmm. Or two, it depends on how watery you want it or how weak you want it. Oh yeah, and another thing, we've got sorry, we've got intestines right here. Let me smell it just to see if it's stinky because if it doesn't stink. It's not good. Whew. It's not as bad as the rotten one, yeah? This is, looks like a fresh one. Mm. Still thing. You see the, the lining of the intestines? You see right here? This is what intestines look yeah. like. It's in. Can I have that? Okay, my mom just chopped this up for this in. So this is going to be a proper punchy crack crack. Okay, so we're going to come back when the ingredients have been blended in. Peace. Welcome back. As you can see, the nama nama, which is the intestines, has been heated up now. We're adding the base, the other half of the base. Onion. The onion, the garlic, the chili, the tomato. So by this time, you should know the base of how to make soup. You can be quite creative with it. And, um, you know, and also for, you know, vegetarians and vegans out there, you don't have to add meat, you know, you could just get some nice mushrooms, you know, mushrooms is very, very nice, but in the end of the day, you have to remember to add the chili, tomato, garlic, and ginger. That, it has to be in there. Not so much the ginger, to be honest, but the garlic, chili, and tomato, and onions, my bad, onions, very important, vital. Nothing's tasty without onions and salt. And uh, the thing is with soup, it's like a trial and error. Hey, Mum, you can cover it. What we're gonna, do, what we're going to do later is to add a kettle of water. hot water. Mm. Oh. But my mum wants to heat this, heat the meat up further, Steam. so it's you know, it's not undercooked. So you can cover it, Mum. It's not a big deal. I'm just explaining the base. You don't have to put meat in it, do you? Well, this is uh, garlic granules, my mom's adding. Um, the more garlic you add to it, you know, just a nice flavor. It, it complements the rest of the ingredients. Uh, 
rarely does putting too much garlic spoil a dish. <laughs> to be honest. It's good. It's very good. It's also very good for the heart as well. Uh, how long are we going to let this bowl before we add the kettle of water? Um, naturally, you can tell when it's really um, steam. And how, uh, how can you tell that? What does it look like? You see it start to splash out. Oh, okay, so... And when you open it, you know, the water is gone and everything. Like this on the side here, you see it's bubbling? Mm -hmm. should be like that and the whole thing. So, you know, done. that's it then. So we'll come back around roughly 15 minutes. Yeah. And see how it's going. Peace. Okay, now we're adding the boiled water. Well, we've already started adding it, as you can see. But by that point, it's already boiling. The reason why we heat a kettle is because you don't really want to lower the temperature. Mm -hmm. You just want to keep it the same. To keep the continuum going. Yeah. You like your soup a bit thick, isn't it? Um, like it's supposed to be crown crown. As long as it's not watery. Teshi soup. Mm -mm, this is too much. I have to put puree in it. I put plant before, so now I'm going to put this one. Tomato paste. Mm -hmm. My mom can't take it. She got okra mouth. <laughs> I'm joking. I know what okra mouth means. I just changed the meaning. Yeah. Actually, you do have okra mouth. <laughs> I'm yeah. joking. You and your friends. I'm joking. Good joke. Yeah, I've got half of this almost a quarter of it in it okay so and i hope it's going to now that's the cheese cracker i'm now going to get i let it boil for a while I'll put fish in it got the tre chrome chrome right here yeah the tree bible as always, always keep this nearby. It's always good that we promote our language, no matter what language it is. It's nice, but I'm not gonna read it to you, so that's. You know. Yeah. There might be some there people who. Comes. See the head. I'm going to eat. I personally will eat the you head. You will find it. It will be all mashed in this soup. Mmm. You noticed that the head last time was mm. nice. It went. <laughs> you took it from me. I said that's all I need. I don't want anything else. Just give me the head. And possibly the tail. How do you say tail in tree? Is it Jia? Jia. Uh -huh. yeah. Jia. Jia. Mm -hmm. Tree Jia. Karma Jia. Uh, or Tree Jia. That reminds me, we, we have to do some more tree lessons one day. Yeah. Because uh, I don't have the accent. I have to do uh, I make it up to you. Yeah. We have to get into uh, practical sentences instead of... Do you know the reason I'm putting this fish in here? Because it stinks? No, because this fish doesn't stink. Macro do not stink. This serious? is macro, you see. Yeah, but the smoked mackerel does. This is smoked mackerel. It's when you smoke it in your house, it stinks. Yeah, but it adds a next flavor uh, every time I have it. Uh, doesn't it? Okay. But I always think it tastes nice in the soup. I really. buy this from um, supermarket. Where they've already smoked it. So you're peeling the skin off? Yeah, this one would be nice. It's not coming in a soup. Oh, okay. Yeah. My mum always finishes the soup. Uh, I mean, the fish in the soup. <laughs> she always finishes it. Sometimes she doesn't even have meat, she just has the fish. As for me, I need the, you know, the meat. The, 
how do you say it? Enam din 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 din. I'm joking. I'm just playing around with the language. I'd like to have my hot, my meat hard. I don't mind fish. I don't mind, but you know, fish can evaporate in my mouth. You know. And with goat meat and nama nama, you have to chew. Nice. Why well, that makes the whole thing taste better? You have to. You've got the contour the big ball in your mouth. Contour Yeah, in your mouth, and then you chew in at the same time. That means you, yay! Mm -hmm. That's what lots of men do. You don't know whether you should put more in it. You should <laughs> stop there or carry on or what? <laughs> <laughs> you are in your element. Exactly. <laughs> As if you are in heaven. That's why I wish Heaven. I was in Ghana. I would show you. If I ever go to Ghana, I will show you yeah, how yeah. to chop food. Yeah. You when we go there. to the chop bar. Why didn't you film yourself? Because I, I, I'm, I eat quite a lot. There was one time where, I don't know, if you're from Ghana, you know what I'm talking about. I went there and I... Okay. I got four cities worth of fufu, yeah? And for some people, that's a lot. And then for the fat guy, no. That's probably normal. But I thought I'd try four cities. I usually have three cities here yeah, worth of fufu. I had four cities worth of fufu. Hmm. Was it easy? Let's just say, yeah, I had it around 12 o'clock. Nine o'clock at that night, about nine hours later, I was still digesting that food. You could not breathe. <laughs> was, you have like, done it. I came back to my mom and she realised I was just sleeping. You can't even speak. I the can't. Food, the food is coming out. <laughs> I thought, my God, you've made a pick of yourself. I love fufu that much. Trust me. And with that, even the nama nama in Ghana is different. I don't know why. The nama nama is more rubbery. It looks much different, but it tastes so good. And then they mix the the brebois with the the ginger. Which yeah, is liver and ginger. Talking mm. about heavy drink. Mm, mm, mm. That's my favorite. But anyway, we we'll leave it at this. Um, this is gonna boil for a further twenty minutes. You know what? I'm going to lower it so you take his time to boil. Yeah. Because we are not in a rush eating it. Beautiful. So we'll come back when this is being done. Yeah. Peace. That's no good Welcome back. Um, it's been about 20 minutes from last showing, so the soup is almost done. As you can see, it's firing away, it's boiling. Uh, you can see that little, see that little dark part on the top. You see the little froth on the sides. That means it's either done or almost done. Uh, Ma, how long is this gonna be boiling for? Oh, at the moment, just the next five. 10 minutes, I'll switch it off and then start doing the cooking. So in this 5-10 minutes, it's going to be ready. Um, the flavour has already filled up the whole house, you know, courtesy to the nama nama, the intestines. I know my mum doesn't like the smell, but she likes the taste. So do I. Okay, so this is just a little update. We'll be back in uh, 10 minutes to show the dish in. Peace. Okay, welcome back. This is the soup ready and done and served with fufu. This is my little brother's one right here. And this is my one right here. So right here you got the nama nama. You've got the nice goat meat, the soup around. And you can't see it, but the fufu is underneath. It's not such a big fufu. It's a small fufu. Mm. This is serious. Let me just do a little close up. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. So I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, like the video. If you dislike, didn't dislike it. If you haven't already, Subscribe. Peace.